Make a appearance in Alvin and Versailles. parking lot and, and know that God is here with us, man, it's an exciting time for me. I was so pumped up, I was just like, wow, I, I kept pacing the floor, and I'm glad I'm here this morning, and uh, uh, I'm glad that you guys are all online, you know, any of you joining us on Facebook this morning, God is going to do some good things in this service today. It's Easter Sunday morning, and this is what I want you to know. This morning I woke up and I rolled over in the bed and got my little grandson out of his little crib. I pulled him over close to me. He was crying a little bit, wanting something to drink. And I looked at him and I said, Axel Cruz, Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. And I told him, I said, Axel, no matter what happens in this world, Jesus loves you. And he likes his papa to sing, Jesus loves me, to him. And so sometimes that's what I do when he's sleepy. I just sing, Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible told me so. And this morning I declare that Jesus loves us this morning. Amen? Yes. You know what? When we get back to church, I think I'm going to pass all of you out air horns. <laughs> and so then we're all through service, you can just honk those air horns. It would be so exciting. It would be like we're Pentecostal people. Amen? So, <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, God is here this morning, and uh, we're going to be talking about the resurrection in a few moments. But I asked the, the ladies if they would do a song for me um, right up front here. It's not what they planned all week long, and, and my... Uh, uh, sound technicians, these guys who do all the behind the scenes work, they know what a pain I am because I show up on Sunday morning with a completely different plan than we've had all week long. But this morning, I got, I came up and I was thinking about that song that says, Fear, you can't stay here. And this morning, I want us to open our worship service up in that song because this is what I want the devil to know. We at New Life, we're going to praise God. No matter where we are, no matter how we have to do it, we're going to praise our Lord. Amen. We're going to praise Him, and we're going to lift Him up, and we're going to let our community know that Jesus Christ is the answer for them. And so this morning, will you pray with me and get ready to worship the Lord? Father, I love you, and I thank you for the opportunity to be in your house today. You are a high and lifted up, Lord. Father, we want you to know that today, New Life Assembly of God in Barnett, Missouri, we worship you and we praise you, Father. We thank you for your mighty power in our life, God, and we're asking you to move in our services. Father, I'm praying today that you will just release the power of the Holy Spirit in this place. Let us know, God, we have nothing to fear today. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name mighty now. Hey, just before we go into worship, let me remind you, if you're here this morning and you haven't done it yet, text to 94000 the words, I'm here. Take the apostrophe out. It will auto-correct. Take the apostrophe out and just say, I'm here. That will check you into service this morning. Let him go this morning. 
event that has ever taken place in history. You see, there are some who would say this happened or that happened in their life. And then you say to them, well, who can verify that or who can validate it? Well, nobody was there. It was just me. But see, that's not what happened with Jesus. The Bible clearly shows us that after Jesus came back from the dead, after he was in the earth and he was battling for you and for me, for our salvation, for our redemption, for our peace, says that he came back and then he showed himself to the people. Here, when this is written, we're understanding that uh, uh, over in, in, in 1 Corinthians uh, 15 and 3 and 8, when we go and we read those scriptures, we see that for Paul the Apostle, for what I received, I pass on to you as first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Peter and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 people. You see, there's a reason why Jesus wanted to be seen. He wanted people to document that this was not just a story about some man who had done some good deeds, but in instead, this was about a man who had done what none other could do. Jesus is our hope today. Jesus is our everything. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 16 that, that he would be killed and on the third day he would be raised to life. See, that promise indicated to me that Jesus intends to keep this word when he said, I go away to prepare a place for you. A place for you and me. So it assures me that Jesus is coming back someday for you and I, and we will live and reign with Him forever. Yeah. 